What's up guys, BD Wiz, old school stereo.com. Today here with a new app. This one is the Wolfram Audio W3000.1. This choker is 23.5 inches or 570 millimeters long by 9.75 inches or 248 millimeters tall by 2.3 inches or 58 millimeters thick. Here's a comparison of the Massive Audio N2 that we recently tested. You can see the Wolfram Audio is a big amp. It's good, it has lots of dissipation area to get rid of heat. On one end of the amplifier, we have inputs and outputs, Tiffany style RCAs, very nice. We have a gain adjustment, which goes from eight volts to 200 millivolts. Subsonic filter, low pass filter, bass boost, phase shift, and a port for the wired bass remote, which is also included, and a power and protect light. Here's the bass remote with the extension cable. On the other end of the amp, we have ground, remote, and 12 volt. And yes, you can fit oversize one alt wire in there. And the speaker outputs, there's actually two, except an eight gauge wire, but you can either hook up A or B or A and B. It's a monoblock amplifier, so you don't have to hook up both. A lot of people are confused about that. So in the box, you have the remote base control, the wire, and the manual. Speaking of the manual, let's check it out. Four ohms, 1150 watts. Two ohms, 2000 watts. One ohm, 3000. You can also link up these amps for more power. All right, before I tease you here with a gut shot, psych, you have to wait till after the dyno test. I'm going to show you uh, some current draw with music being played back. That's why you can get an idea. This is a 4 ohm subwoofer. Let's check it out. So as you can see here, our peak current draw with the 4 ohm sub was 59.7 amps. Just keep that in mind when you see the results later using the test tone. It's a little different with music. All right, now for the part most of you want to see the amp dyno test. First off, I want to talk about the test bench, what I have here. I've got four D1400 14 volt batteries in addition to 48 Maxwell boost caps. That is eight banks of six. Now, a lot of times you guys ask me, D, can you test my amp? You guys can get your own AMM1 and test your own amp. Check the video description below and I'll have a link to where you can pick one of these up. And you can actually use speakers. You don't have to use resistors. That's what I'm talking about. Check it out, video description below. And you can pick up your AMM1 and test your own amps. All right, so first up, we'll try the amp at four ohms probably remember before it's rated at 1150 watts at 4 ohms so we're going to test it up to 1% THD first and see what we get and not quite there 948 watts at 4 ohms at 14.48 we pulled 89.4 amps so then we decided let's try it up to clipping see if it does any better obviously it should and see if we can get that 1150 not quite very close, but not quite. We got 1,060 watts, four ohms, 14.36 volts, and we pull 107.5 amps. All right, so next up, we'll try two ohms. Here it's rated 2,000 watts. We'll start off with the certified test at the 1% THD at 40 hertz. Again, it's rated 2,000 watts. 1,854 watts, we're a little bit under that 14.4. 175.6 amps of current. So again, let's go up to clipping at 40 hertz. See if we can beat that 2KW. And yes, we can. 2,020 watts at 14.21 volts. And the old fluke says 197.2 amps. All right, now let's get to the test. You guys want to see the one ohm test. First, we're going to try it up to 1% THD at 40 hertz rated 3,000 watts and yes sir 3,249 watts at 13.97 we pulled 335.8 amps of current nice job so we decided now let's take it up to clipping again 
see if we can get yeah rated 3k rms 14.4 3808 at 13.55 we pull 376.2 amps now everybody's favorite test the one ohm dynamic power at 40 hertz this test means nothing some people say it's like a kick drum this amp is kicking it on the dyno 4182 watts at one ohm 14.42 we pulled whoa 422.1 amps all right here i have the wolfram w3000.1 on the dyno got some of the dual one alt inputs it's actually dual two alt but i don't have any two alt wire right now and we're gonna try this and see if we get it a little bit more power got it running off of four 14 volt batteries and also my cap bank down here, which is eight banks of Maxwell boost caps. So let's try the 40 Hertz track. Nice power, 3,381 watts certified at 14.2. So it's almost 400 watts over the rating. We're not even at 14.4, so. 296.1 all right so as promised i'm gonna check out the guts of this bad boy first off check out the video description for my favorite little screwdriver set here you can get off of amazon very reasonably priced and it's got everything you need for opening up amps here we go take the bottom screws out check it out yes she is beautiful here is the layout you can see the filtering caps there. You can see four large power transformers and plenty of filtering caps and MOSFETs to go along with it. And some large gauge wire there for running the power. So next up, let's check out the results. All right, here are the results of the dyno test. You can pause this at any time if you like to see this up close. Basically, we came a little under at four ohms and two ohms, but who buys these and runs them at two ohms? One ohm's where it's at. Got plenty of power there. And you can see the benefit of using the dual one alt inputs. So make sure you do that if you get a chance. All right, so in full disclosure, Wolfram Audio sent me this amplifier to test. It is going back to them. I'm not keeping it. This test was for you guys to show you what this amplifier does. So again, I get no benefit out of this. This is all for you. This was not for the manufacturer. This is for the viewers. If you like these amp dyno tests, make sure you subscribe to my videos. Please like, comment, and share. Until next time, Big D Wiz, I'm out of here. Those of you who stick around to the end of my videos know I always throw a little extra something something. So check it out. 0.8 certified Wolfram 3K. Thirty-four seventy-six, thirteen point nine, ninety-two point five. All right, uncertified. Point eight Wolfram. Three K. What can we get? Forty one sixty four, thirteen point six, or twenty two point four. All right, Wolfram three K dynamic burst at point eight. Okay, sixty four eighty six, and it went into protect. 